Have you ever wanted to achieve the perfect blown out look on your hair, but you just can't quite figure out how to use a blow dryer and a brush and it hurts your wrist and it just doesn't look the same as a salon blowout? Well, guess what? Revlon has come out with the coolest tool and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. Let's get into it. Here is the lovely box, One Step Blowout Curls by Revlon. And as always, I'll link it down below, so that way, if you wanna try it out after this video, you can get your very own. What I love about this is it comes with two different attachments. As you can see here, this has tons of holes, 360 all the way around, and it's going to dry your hair while you are curling it. One thing I really like is it does have this clip on it. So then that way you don't have to use or put your hand over the top of say the brush or the blow dryer. The clamp is going to hold that hair in place. I have done a video on the Revlon volumizer. I'll put the link up above so that way you can see that. And one thing I notice is my hair gets super, super hot with it and I have to keep my hand over the top of that brush. That way, all that hair is laying flat and smooth. I notice if I do not do that, my curls look a little frizzier. So clamp is gonna make it so much easier. And then it also comes with another attachment. This cool little comb, if you will, is a root dryer. So you use it as a brush and you're able to dry your roots. The best thing about this is you can let your hair air dry. I have already done that. I did wash it and I let my hair air dry roughly about 90, 95%. This is going to cut down on that damage that you do to your hair when you are blow drying and curling all at the same time. This is only going to be a one step. So I did use a product on my hair that is an air drying cream. I'll pop it up right here. And I love to use that on my hair because it does tame down the frizz. It also does have a heat protectant in it. So then I do not have to worry about damaging my hair whatsoever. And then we're gonna go in and we are gonna dry it. So to remove the curling iron attachment, there is a little button right here and that's going to unlock the barrel. You just pull straight down on it and twist and it just pops right off. So then you can add that other attachment onto your tool and then you're ready to go. Like I said, I did air dry my hair a little bit. If your hair is a little too dry, you can use a spray bottle and spray your hair. So as you can see on this tool, there is an off button, a cool shot button, low, medium, and high. I have used this already and I just kept it on the low setting so then it wasn't drying my hair way too fast before I was curling it. The cool setting is gonna be super important to really set those curls so that way they're cooled off and it's not going to lose its curl that you just put on your hair. So I'm gonna use this comb tool so you guys can see what it does. I'm gonna do it on my low setting. Nice because it's not super loud compared to a lot of the other ones. And we're just going to comb the hair straight up off the root. It's gonna create lots of volume. Okay, and like I said, we're gonna do that tool shot. Okay, so check out that volume. The cool shot is a little bit louder, but I'm gonna do the whole top of my head so you guys can see how much volume I get. Okay, so I just did my roots and it gives you a good amount of volume. It's not completely flat up against my head. Now the biggest tip I can give you is section your hair, especially if you want all of it to be curled really well and dried at the same time. Do not skimp on this part because I know a lot of you say, well, my hair just doesn't quite look like that. Well, if you're not sectioning, you're just not gonna get the same results. Now let's switch out to our curling iron attachment. And then I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see. All the way around the tool, 
it blows air completely all the way around 360 like it said. I'm gonna show you before I turn it on, you're going to take the curling iron without the clamp being open and dry the root. So that way you can get a good amount of volume out of this blow dry. Then you are going to take the clamp and do the same thing, really kind of drying those roots. Then we're gonna do it just like you would a curling iron. I like to turn it to the side and we're gonna slowly loosen up that clamp, curl it back up again to the scalp, slowly loosen it out, but then we are going to leave the ends out. As you can see, I have roughly about an inch left out, and then I will turn the cool shot setting after it's been on my hair for roughly about 10 seconds, and then we will unravel it, and it'll give us that curled look. Okay, you guys are ready to see it in action? All right, you guys, check out that curl I got. Big, bouncy, looks just like a blowout, and you're gonna leave it. At this point, you can take a hairspray and spray it so it sets that blowout curl, but you do not wanna run your hands through it until the very end and all of your hair is cooled. Again, I'm doing it just exactly the same way that I did on the left side as the right side, but all these curls close to my face are gonna be away from my face. Let's do it. If you guys are loving what you see so far with these super big bouncy curls, do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. I love seeing you guys liking these YouTube videos I'm putting out and it really helps boost me in the algorithm. All right, let's keep curling. So the more a lift that you want, the closer you get to the top of your head, you're gonna wanna hold this blow dry curling iron up really high. So while you're taking your sections, if you hold it straight up 90 degrees, you're gonna get a lot of lift. If you want even more lift, you're gonna have to over direct it the opposite way of where the hair is going to fall. As you can see, lots more lift up at the roots with still that blowout look. Okay, let's keep going. Now we're to the very last section and kind of towards the front, really kind of bang area of my hair. So I'm gonna figure out where I wanna part it and then we're gonna just do it from that. Same thing, I'm gonna over direct so that way I still get a good amount of volume on my bangs and we're almost done. Okay, one last little spray. Now while we cool, I'm gonna spin around so you guys can see all the way around my head. Okay, so now we can just run our hands through it just to kind of soften up some of those curls so it's not super tight looking. And look at how full my hair is. Looks honestly, I think even better than the Revlon Volumizer has done. I'm gonna curl this section just a tiny bit more just right around my face. And this is really cool because since I already kind of have a blowout, this is gonna show you that even second day hair, you can reuse this to kind of restyle your hair without having to do anything. Okay, so see that kind of just restyles it a little bit and gives you a good amount of volume and it looks just like I would have curled my hair, but normally when I curl my hair, I don't get a lot of volume out of it just because it just lays a little flatter. So when you're putting air through your hair, you're gonna get bigger, bouncier curls versus if you were just blow drying it or just using your curling iron. Curling iron's not gonna give you kind of that same full blowout look. Super pretty, lots of volume. I would highly suggest anybody who likes a blown out look to pick up this Revlon One Step Blowout Curls. 
As always, I'll link it down below. I will say one thing I noticed with the cool shot, it doesn't really cool super well versus like when you're using a blow dryer, it's very cold feeling. This doesn't really, it's cooler than the low, but it's not a cold feeling. So I will tell you, it's very important not to run your hands through your hair until it's completely cooled or else you're going to lose all of those bouncy curls. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not hesitate to hit that red subscribe button if you like what you saw today. Have tons of videos out there and if you wanna reach out on any of my social medias, please do not be afraid to say hello. Okay, you guys, I hope you had a great time watching me style my hair and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.